receive the gift boxes with such excitement. Some of them is the very first time that they ever received a gift in their lives. Jesus loves you. That's what Operation Christmas Child is all about, is to reach children of the world with God's love. And we do that through a simple gift. There's no greater joy than knowing we're getting to be a part of the Great Commission together. There's no way that you could do this without volunteers. They're incredible. The energy that they have, the excitement that they have. This is the Good Samaritan work that the Lord is looking for people to do. When we pray, God takes your gift and he begins to navigate it around the world and it ends up in the hands of a child. God begins to answer those prayers. After a child receives a gift box, the child is invited to go through the greatest journey. They know the story of God and they can tell others by using the books. These boxes can be used as a tool to touch a whole community. The Great Commission, we're to go into all the world to preach the gospel, to make disciples of all nations, to baptize in the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Evangelism, discipleship, and multiplication, that's what we do. It never ceases to amaze me how a simple box can change the world for a child. We are excited to once again this year partner with Samaritan's Purse as a part of our Christmas impact uh, operation that we have here. If you have gotten one of these handouts, it outlines three different ways in which we as a church come together uh, to bless ministries both in our community and around the world. This is a wonderful way, Operation Christmas Child, for you, for your family, uh, for someone at your home, for all of us to have an impact on people in other places that we would never be able to reach on our own simply through packing a shoebox with some wonderful items. There is a table set up down the hallway where you can pick up shoeboxes if you'd like, uh, lists of items that you can bring, and we're asking that starting next week you bring these boxes back full. And bring one back, and if you want to, bring another one back. Keep bringing them back over the next couple weeks, and we will send these out. November 5th and 12th are our collection days, and so we ask that you pack those boxes over the next two weeks. A couple of announcements in your service program. I did not introduce myself. My name is Jason. I am the associate pastor here at the church, and I'm glad that you're here. Someone said welcome. That thing came from back there. It threw me off. We're very glad that you're here. If you are new with us, there's a, a handout that you can fill out right in front of you that uh, says welcome on it. You put that in the offering plate. When it comes by, let us know a little bit about yourself. If you have a, a prayer request that you want us to pray for, this is a wonderful way of letting us know what those are as well. So please uh, do that. A couple of things in your service program. Uh, coming up November 10th, 11th, and 12th, uh, is the Weekend to Remember Marriage Retreat that we are promoting here through our church. You can visit our church website to register. We also have a promo code that will save you money. And if uh, money or anything is an issue for you to be able to attend this, please let us know. We want to make sure that you're able to be there if it's something that you feel like you need to be at. This Wednesday night, we have our Wednesday fellowship dinner, $3 a person, $10 a family. It starts at 5.30. Come on out and enjoy that. It is a fun time together. And uh, next week, we always put this in the service program, and I'm always told to talk about it. Daylight savings time ends next week. If you need me to tell you that, then you're not listening to everyone else in the world who's going to be telling you that this next week. So please be here on time. Uh, every year, someone's not here on time. And I'm, because I'm saying this, it'll probably be me next week. But please be here on time. Uh, before we go to the uh, uh, Lord in prayer over our offering, I just want to make you aware of something that you can be praying about. Several months back, Josh and Susie Switek answered uh, the call to foster care and care for children. And they've had a wonderful little girl in their home for the past several months. On Friday, that little girl uh, left their home and went to uh, live with family, with her brother, in hopes that that will be an adoptive family, a forever home for her. Josh and Susie are understandably heartbroken. And uh, you can 
serve them by praying for them. If you want to send a note of encouragement, that might be uh, happy. They might be happy to get that. But when they return to us next week, we don't need to ask them 150 times, how are you doing? Because it, it hurts. It will continue to hurt. and We don't want to peel off a wound that the Lord has begun to heal. But do lift them up in prayer. Uh, I am proud of them as a pastor, as a friend, uh, as someone who had Josh in his youth group. Um, if I knew that shaggy-haired boy when I started would grow up and have a heart for children like he does, I would uh, say God is good, and God is good. Um, pray for them. And like I said, we're proud of them. We think well of them. They are courageous and they are brave. And so as you think about them this week, be in prayer for them. One more thing that I need to do before we pray. Uh, today we're going to have a short business meeting right now uh, to vote on Rick and Terry Bond. Uh, into church membership. Rick and Terry were in our first service. If you know them, they've been attending our church for several months, several, maybe a couple years now. And so today they are ready to uh, enter into membership here at Cross Point. And that is an exciting thing. And this is also the only time I'm allowed to do a business meeting. And so I would like to call to order just a short meeting in order to vote on the membership for Rick and Terry Bond. So at this time, I would accept a motion to receive these two into membership. Okay, do I have support? Supposed to ask for discussion. There is none. Okay. Uh, all in favor? Aye. Any opposed? Oh, it's always interesting at that moment. Uh, all right, well, then we want to welcome Rick and Terry Bond into membership. When you see them later, yeah, you can clap for them. Rick was very nervous. Rick was very nervous about second service. He didn't know how you guys would be. Let's pray.